morning. Welcome to Vlogtober day three. It's October 3rd. We are up a little bit early today, thank goodness, and it's very chilly down here. We are basically just gonna get ready, pack up, because that's gonna take absolutely ages. Head out, basically. Um, I think we need to be out by 11 anyway, and I reckon all of those things will at least take us to like 10. And then we're gonna stop at a couple locations on the way to our hotel in Dartmoor. Then I'll probably edit the vlog once we get there. Um, I was gonna do it this morning, but I think actually the whole getting ready and packing thing is gonna take ages. Um, both of us are slightly looking forward to like an inside bathroom. Anyway, I will see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get ready first. Right, my loves, it's time to say goodbye to our little cabin. It's been such a lovely stay. Oh, I can see my hats. <laughs> Mustn't forget those. We'd definitely come back here, but I don't think I would come back here for what we were doing which is like a shoot, because obviously there's like no real place to get ready and there's no full length mirror and that sort of thing, but that's our own fault. Um, I would definitely come back here just to relax. It's such a nice place, but we've got the best of both worlds, so can't complain. And yeah, it's been a really lovely stay. Sad to leave, but on to Devon. We have arrived at the Lost Gardens of Heligan, um, which is like a botanical garden sort of situation, and it looks really nice. Might snap a few pics, have a wander around. Um, I just know there are going to be some trees in there that I'm going to love. Um, ever since reading The Overstory, I think it was this time last year, I'm like obsessed with trees. Like I've always liked woodland and stuff, but now I'm super obsessed with trees, aren't I? Entering the jungle. Oh, <laughs> what just happened? We're entering the jungle. As you can see, these plants are getting tropical.
So we left the Lost Gardens of Heligan. Um and now we are gonna get some fish and chips from a, I mean it's spelt Mevagissi. Almost definitely pronouncing that wrong somehow. Um, but it's a quite a cute little town, so we're gonna eat some fish and chips and then be on our way to a castle next, isn't it? Delish. It smells amazing. Zach wanted me to tell you that it's not a bad fish and chip shop and they didn't give me a tiny piece of fish. But I got a mini cod and chips. Okay? We really enjoyed it and 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, outfit change. <laughs> the only outfit change of today is complete. We are going to attempt to go outside in this rain. We are at um, Tintagel or Tintagel Castle. Um, so we're gonna try, but it kind of looks really grim. Okay guys, this is as far as we're coming today. Back. It's up there, I think. gone from this sublime to the ridiculous with this accommodation on this trip but to kind of show you our room um just on to the left as you come in we've got the bathroom nice big shower bathroom mirror hooray i didn't have that in the cabin um so i can do my makeup and be able to like see my whole face so that'll be useful um got these super cozy robes which i'm definitely going to put on later um already put some stuff away in the wardrobe for our whole two nights here and this is our room really cozy and cute got a nice big desk here I'm gonna edit the vlog now this bed looks nice Zach's perusing the hotel information um, and then we've got some oh, I wanted to order scones to the room looks like my plans are going to be thwarted and then we've got this beautiful view out onto we are in the um, national park aren't we yeah so we're out onto dartmoor national park oh there are some great trees out there guys today it's all about the trees that's our room it's very cozy i'm going to do yeah so i'm going to unpack the computer and do a bit of editing now oh yeah and i meant to say we've got some all well, everything's complimentary apparently including this slow gin these apples look a bit tired, but it's okay because we've got free gin. I'm just finishing up for October and I got some gin. I'm going to taste it. I don't think it was strong. It's very sweet. Yeah. That's slow gin, isn't it? I know, but like, just to drink like, with no tonic or anything is quite sweet. I am finished with the vlog and various other little bits and bobs that I had to do. Prop's just gonna watch a bit of TV, maybe even have a nap. And we've got dinner at eight. Oh, yeah, need to have a little relax. Keep meaning to show you guys some of the new pieces I picked up just before Vlogtober started. So um, I've got this Under the Stories Cardi, which I, well, I featured it on my Instagram already and you've probably seen me wearing it today just like how it fits and everything, but it's just slightly oversized. It's so cozy and comfy and I am in love with it. Also got these incredible Prada boots. Um, I made a few investments for my autumn wardrobe. So this being one of them, um, I am in love with them. I kind of feel like I'm cheating on my Doc Martens with them, but um, they're crazy. I quite like that they've got like a short, ankle um, so it makes them a little bit more versatile in terms of the length of trouser that you can wear with them um, compared to some of my other boots they've got a super exaggerated tread um, and they obviously give me a little bit of height as well 
And they're smooth leather as well. They look really beautiful. I mean, they'll probably get a little bit ruined because I plan to wear them lots, but I love, love, love these. And again, you'll see me wearing these lots in the coming weeks. So this is another of my, uh, this one I got from Matches, I think, actually, um, along with the boots. This is a jumper by Kate. <coughs> this was pricey, but um, I do wear my jumpers a lot. And I'm sick of all the jumpers I have in my wardrobe. I haven't really bought any good ones for like a couple of years, really. I bought this one. It's obviously got this crazy exaggerated wide shape, which means it drapes really, really nicely. Um, it's got, yeah, low cut here. So you can show a little bit of skin and it's very flattering. And then, yeah, a nice droopy, drapey collar. And I can't explain to you how soft this is. So I love this. And then finally, we have this gorgeous, I haven't actually taken the um, labels off this even though I've worn it. You saw it in day two of Vlogtober. Um, it's this gorgeous bike blazer, super oversized. I do think I wanted it in just one size smaller. It was sold out um, and I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to get this size, which I think was an eight anyway. But um, I just thought I would mention them because uh, they're just some new autumn additions. Came out to snap a pic, but it looks so gorgeous. I can help but show you guys. I love the mists. So I'm just trying to get in the telephone box. Is there a telephone in there? Yeah, but we'll use some coat cleaning stuff. Yeah, I don't think they expect anyone to be using it anymore. I'm just going to show you guys this, but I'll show you a bit better on the actual camera. I love this trunk. I want it. Time for dinner, you guys. Go to the brasserie tonight. Hey, some mackerel to start. These capers look delicious. I love my mouth is literally watering. Love massive capers. Myself some artichoke and truffle ravioli, but Zach got a posh chicken Kiev. You happy about it? Yeah, really. Time, oops. It's time for us to head back to the room. My trousers aren't done. Don't tell anyone. Just describe what Zach was wearing whilst it was zipped up as a turtleneck. But he is trying to tell me that it's not a turtleneck. Yeah, and it unzips. Fine. But whilst it is done up, the neckline is turtleneck. No, it's not. It's just a jump. Well, there's only one way to solve it, which is consulting you guys. Okay, I'm getting ready for bed, by the way, and then we are going to cozy up and uh, probably watch some shit TV. I've just put a circle on. I haven't watched any of it this year. I watched a bit of it last year, but I wasn't like religiously following it. We'll see. Maybe we'll get into it. I don't know how long it's been on. Maybe a few days. So we've just finished watching The Circle, and uh, I was very involved there, I feel. I am so tired. I can't really vocalise. Thank you guys for watching today and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.